What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So, it's been a really interesting week because the PTS for Somerset has come out for ESO. Um, in terms of Black Desert, they had this one or the patch this week where they're trying to balance PvP and PvE. I'm not really sure how this works. So, basically they added a renown score and that increases it from... Like, it gives you a bonus to your AP and DR and all this stuff. So, if you have a gear score of, like, 5 whatever, whatever your gear score is, you get tiers. And that gives you bonuses. And they also, like, kind of added DR to, or DP to Kudum. It, or, let's try that again. They added DP to Nuver, and they rate, added some AP to Kudum. And lowered the DP for that so people are basically saying that Kudum is only good for PvE which I mean I always thought that's how it worked but some classes use Kudum for PvP as well um, and then I guess Nuver kind of got buffed even more so not really sure what the thought process between all of this was but um, basically, you take your gear score, and then, I think you, I don't know, there's some sort of conversion on the website, how you do it. Take your AP, plus Awakened, then divide it by two, or something, double it, divide by two, and you get yours. So, basically, if I use Kudum, mine drops to 535, and literally drops me one tier lower. So, if I use my Nuver, I get one tier higher, and I don't really know, so I guess I'm going to be using Nuver more often. That's why I guess I've been seeing a lot more people swap out their Nuver. Like, there's just a Kudum sitting on the market. It's going to sell, I guarantee you, but the fact that it's just sitting there by phase I have no idea but anyway uh, a lot of stuff has been happening this week in terms of the patch um, I've been seeing a lot more stuff on the market just being sold uh, red corals the price of this has been going down which is kind of scary actually um, the price of pre-orders has been going down you know, pretty outstanding. Anyway, we have stuff to do today. Um, we're going to head to Calpion a little bit later. We got some Gaiath scrolls that we got to do. And Calpion from the Koi event. So, this week's event, or this week's calendar for, let me just auto path, uh, attendance awards. It's kind of... How do I put this? This month is pretty bad, actually. So you look at this. This organic feed. Basically, one of these is the equivalent of fully refilling your pet. And... That's pretty useless, actually. I'd rather just get another five black stones or something. But what we really want for this month is the Shikatu seals. And... This month, we're going to hit 100 of them, so we have 95 Shikatu Seals right now. And once we get our 100, we're going to get a Duo Ogre Ring and do another try attempt. Hopefully, this one works and everything will be good. So, yeah. We're going to do that. Finally, hopefully, we'll be able to get rid of our Sissels somehow. I'm most likely going to blow it up if we get a try. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the way to go nowadays. Tungrads, um, I think these still go for about like 4 billion pre-orders, so that's it's not great. Yeah, we 
we got uh we're gonna do two more uh fairy pedal event chances today hopefully this time we'll get a tier three or tier four i know some people have been getting tier fours and they said uh, the skill they got with it kind of sucks so that's it's not really the greatest what i really want in terms of the skill is the miraculous cheer or the weight one Miraculous Cheer was an auto pot every few seconds if your health goes below like a percentage that you set. Um, you can like have an auto pot, but it still follows the cooldown rule, so that's pretty good. I haven't done RBF in a while. I'm surprised I'm even on the leaderboard. I wish they sped up the timer when this spawns, along with the relics and everything. Yeah, I guess we're basically beta testing new things coming out for the upcoming weeks. So this week, like right now, till the next maintenance, when they actually change some stuff, basically beta testing it on the live servers, which is not great. Scrolls are done. You know what'd be great if I got a helm for like the first time in the year. Of course not. All right, so let's go to the Kamasil Temple and do another two attempts here, and then we'll head off to Kalpion. Alrighty. Excuse me. Get out of the way. Not gonna lie, over the past week I really haven't been playing Black Desert that much. All I've been doing is like AFK fishing. And I don't know. I've been playing a lot of Path of Exile lately. But the best area league is about to end in sometime May. So, then we'll be back, but getting kind of burnt out of path already, so who knows, we'll rotate to our next game. So yeah, then Black Desert will probably still be on the thing. You know what would be amazing if I got a tier 4 today? Just one time. I don't even care if I got a bad skill on it. Well, I mean, I kind of do, but I would like to get a good skill one time and a tier four so I never have to do this again <laughs> by the way for the getting the Lila pedals for like fishing and gathering it's at like a really low drop rate to the point where you get maybe like two in a day at 20 hours of AFK fishing or whatnot that's pretty bad, actually. Alrighty. Two attempts today. We want a Radiant... Well, I'm not even going to be picky. I just want a Brilliant or Radiant. That's Tier 3 or Tier 4, by the way. Oh, that 
that's tier one. Oh, that's tier two. Dude, this is so bad. I can't. I'm actually keeping track of everything I get. So I send them all, all the fairies that I get, to my Bell or Olvio storage. I got, so far, um, five tier twos, or four plus the one I'm using right now, and, or actually, if I got another one, so six tier twos, and seven tier ones. This is actually going to be a struggle for me if I can't get it. Alright, so now that's done. Um, I think I have a few things in... Not Keplin. We'll have to pick up stuff from Keplin and bring it back. So yeah, we got some scrolls. So we gotta head off to Calpheon. And then we'll do those. By the way, if you are playing this on the NA servers as well, and you are in, you're like an officer or GM of like some sort of node war or siege guild, definitely let me know because I'm definitely looking into swapping guilds. Um, if I could get like a five mil payout daily, that would be awesome as well. But mostly, I'm just kind of looking into a new node war guild uh so gear score 537 oh wait yeah 537 gear score and i definitely know what i'm doing for the most part so playing a dk main is uh i can do damage but dk's are kind of squishy some dude just failed the penzarka axe feels bad they added a new world boss but I have no idea where it is or like when it spawns so never if I ever see it I'll do it but I don't know where it is or was it a scroll boss could have been one of those two but I have no idea So apparently in Valencia, all the gold jewelry drops have been doubled, like the rate you can get something. So I don't know. Does that is that dropping the price? got that we can go run these schools but yeah once I get more memory frags I can probably YOLO enhance my second Uragon shoes that'll be what I use for fail stacking I do want to go for pen eventually so one day that'll happen. But I feel like pen attempts are just gonna be... Oh, is that a new NPC that I've never talked to in my life? Oh, that's just an old moon one. Feels bad, no free energy.
surprise it's pretty empty here. waiting let's just take a look at this I did want to get a sharp alchemy stone of life but those go for like stupid high pre-orders same with the sharp destruction ones I would like to snipe it but it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen One more. Nine thirty three for a duo pre order is actually not that bad. So, might do that one day. I wish you can hide the fairy, just like you can hide your pets. any free memprags we got one so the average of these is five so let's hopefully we can end up with 11 if not that feels bad man nope under average today all right so let's see we got 31 i wonder if they're ever gonna change the hunter seals and just give you like better awards for like something more than two and three for black stones what would be nice is if they added I don't know sharps and hards for like oh, 30 and 40 hunter seals per
Now let's head back to Velia, turn things in. Yeah, so overall, I guess we could, while we're auto-pathing, let's go look at the market. I don't know why the auto-path is so dumb like that. Alright, let's look. Anything interesting on sale today? No, just blue weapons, nothing crazy. That Tricutum sold, not surprised. Any good Awakens? Did any pens sell this week? No pens sold. If I bought this for a hundred, I could smash it. I don't even have any good stacks for that though. These are 50s. Probably would not recommend using a 50 stack on a tri red coral earring, especially if they're going down in price at a pretty rapid pace. Actually, like, it wouldn't really be an upgrade, but it's just like it gives me more accuracy than my Grana Oath one. But it's not really worth the money. Yeah, I should probably just save for an ogre attempt. So far, not much has been going on in this game lately. We made some bitty pretty big changes that no one really likes. I kind of wish they just didn't add their renown system. Like it just makes this game even more confusing. Like everyone they basically the already geared players have more of an advantage than the non-geared players. So, it's already hard enough to gear up in this game. And yet they're pushing the gear, like the difference between someone who's at soft cap versus someone who's at like, who has pens and all that stuff. That's the difference between what that renown score is. It's harder to kill people. They also changed something with like the stuns and the floats and knockdowns, which kind of sucks for Dark Knights because we don't have any of those. Whereas other classes, if you can like, stun someone two times in a row, they're basically going to be dead. It doesn't matter how good your gear is. If someone gets chain stunned, you're dead. So basically, all this money is going directly towards my duo ogre fund in the future. <coughs> I've always wondered, if your pets go to zero like the zero percent and they're hungry do you still get to keep your bonuses i'm not 100 percent on that one all right so let's go deposit all of these let's go transport the fairies again after I do all this, we'll see like what the totals are before I get my first tier 3 or tier 4. So far, of all these attempts, I had 12, 30, yeah, 13 attempts with no tier 3s. That feels bad. But yeah, anyway, 
thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next episode. Maybe something will actually happen, but apparently not today. So see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.